So uh, part of this homesteading lifestyle is um, learning how to be self-sufficient and, and learning new skills. And so today uh, we're going to learn how to fix this air conditioner. We uh, just came back from a little mini vacation to uh, an air conditioner that stopped working. So I'm pretty sure it's just a bad fan motor. Um, that's what it seems like, but we're going to learn together. This thing is about 30 years old, probably. At least 30 years old. And uh, never really had any problems with it. It, uh, it is an air conditioner and gas heat combo, and the gas did stop working several years ago. But we, uh, we heat with wood, and so we, we just use it for the air conditioner. So it's pretty, uh, it's honestly pretty gunky in here. It used to be cleaned out for sure, but this fan motor is completely broken. Not sure why, probably the, either the motor came loose from the housing or the actual shaft of the motor is broken. Let's see if we can get it taken apart. See if we can fix it. At least get us going until I can get a, a new motor. So I have no idea how this comes apart. Looks like it's probably easier to see what's going on from the other side there. Maybe. It was on my list of to do thing things to do this year was to um, take this unit apart and clean it out, but I I just haven't had a chance to do it. So that's going to be part of this repair is cleaning the coils. I'm pretty sure this drain is stopped up. So it looks like the uh, there's a bracket that holds the motor in place. It looks like the bracket is broken. So hopefully I can just take the motor out and fix the bracket and then put the motor back in. Hopefully. Well, it's not gonna come off without taking the blade off first. I can't imagine how many, uh, how many thousands of dollars that I've saved over the years from just doing stuff myself. Um, even if I don't really know what to do or how to do it, um, I've learned if I just at least try, you know, it may take me a, a little longer and, and uh, sometimes it's a little frustrating when I don't understand how something operates, but um, I've learned that if I just give it a try, most things, most mechanical things are very similar, and so, um, at least for me, they're, they're pretty easy to figure out. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm grateful to uh, my parents for basically not, um, not giving me everything I wanted. 
you know, not really forcing me to work, but if I wanted stuff, then I had to go get a job and make some money. And so uh, by doing that, that forced me to learn new skills, learn how to, to um, basically do whatever's needed. I've had several jobs in the past, several different type jobs, and have learned lots of skills. And uh, air conditioning is, is not something I've ever done as far as working for someone, but I have uh, fixed my own units several times. At the house we, we used to live in, I, I uh, put a new compressor in that unit when ours failed, which was something I'd never done before. And it took me a few days to do it, but um, it worked. There it is, it's actually a, just a broken bracket that holds the motor onto the motor housing. All right, so this, uh, this bracket is what holds the motor in place and this bracket is broken off of this one. And so I've got to figure out a way to fasten it back. It's actually a pretty, in my opinion, a pretty poor way of fastening something. But anyway, it did last 30 years, so maybe not. Um, anyway, stay tuned while I try to figure out how to fasten this. All right, so I've decided to uh, drill a hole through this piece and just screw it back together. I was I was looking for a a pop rivet, which is a, a piece uh, like a tool that it uses a thing called a rivet. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but um, if you don't, it's just a tool that you squeeze and it basically clamps two pieces of whatever you're trying to fasten together. But I couldn't find my rivet tool, so I'm going to try to just drill a hole in it and then put a screw and screw them together. So the screw is a little bit bigger than the hole that I drilled so that it'll grab onto the metal and hold it tight. Daddy? Hey buddy. Fixable? 
Forgotten the, I forgot to uh, tighten, tighten the blade up. So it looks like it's working. I just forgot to tighten the blade on the motor. Try to figure out how to get that blade out. Maybe I can just bring the air compressor up here and blow it out. Had it fixed or you had it fixed and then turned it on took a shower yep. got all comfy and ready to eat supper yeah. and then what <laughs> and then it was like You're making just this, rubbing it in aren't you i'm just recapping for everybody <laughs> and then we heard this loud like i'm not sure what kind of noise it was like a loud bumping or something yeah. and what what happened the fan came loose yeah the motor the motor bracket broke again these pieces here that hold the motor in place they only last about 30 years <laughs> well I guess it's pretty good then so what are you doing well, this blade's broken too, so I'm trying to get this taken apart so I can get the blade out, so I can take it with me to go get a new blade and a new motor mount, hopefully. Where do you get something like that? You just have to know people. Because oh. <laughs> usually... You either have to buy this whole thing with the motor and everything, or if you called somebody to come fix it, they would try to sell you an entire unit. Yeah. So. But all I really need is a couple parts that I could probably get for free out of a used unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time for a new one. It looks like well, it probably hit pretty hard. I was going to say it looks pretty wopsided. But... So this thing, this fan was wobbling. That's what, that's what made it break. Like the fan was just vibrating too much. So no AC tonight? Mm -hmm. Tonight. Which is not too bad right now. But several days of it would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would. For your wife, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> no, you'd be fine. Yeah, I'd be alright. Just get used to it. So this is all I really need. These two pieces right here. Gotcha. Which I can get for free from the right people. Probably. Right. Or ten bucks or something, or a jar of honey, or you know, <laughs> yeah, a pack of hamburger or something. Barter, like yeah. yeah. A dozen eggs. So this is a to be continued. Yeah. All right. You hear that? That is the sweet sound of air conditioning. It took three days for 
him to find a part because that thing is like 30 years old. So it's hard to find parts for. But praise the Lord, it's done. What you up to? Everything. <laughs> what you been helping Daddy with? Water that he's working and turning the water off and getting the cow fence and the chicken fence turned on. <laughs> so what are you getting ready for over here? Butchering the chicken. She's helping her old man. Yeah. She said you hurt your leg or something. It's just my foot again. Oh. You got this set up the way that you wanted to set it up the last time? Yeah, I think it's going to be better. That way. Me and Jeremy are spraying out that way. Yeah. Like that back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to get behind this. Probably right here. So it's away from the, the messy room. Did you just tie your hair up with hay? Yeah, I don't like it down when I'm sweaty. I've never seen anyone do that before. It's very creative. <laughs> True farm girl. Hay is a hair tie. <laughs> yep. She learned that from you, didn't she? So we got chickens this weekend, honey extraction next weekend. My arms feel really light. <laughs> Are you ready for all this? Yeah. Chickens and honey and everything. Yeah. What do you like more, chicken or honey? Chicken on honey. Chicken on honey or honey on chicken? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for helping daddy. So yeah, we got a full couple weeks ahead. We've got chicken butchering Saturday and then we've got to um, extract our honey the following Saturday. So um, we have already documented our last chicken butchering. So I'll pop that up here and then, um, and then I will film our honey extraction when we do that in a couple weeks. So hope you guys have a good day. See you on the next one.